Chapter 5 Features in MS Word 2010 Hi friends! We have already studied about some tools in Microsoft Word 2010 in your earlier classes. Here we are discussing about some more features in the font group of this application. Subscript and Superscript Subscript refers to text written in smaller letters below text baseline like H2O as shown and superscript refers to text written in smaller letters above text baseline like A square. Children, to make text subscript, follow these steps. Select the text that you want to format as subscript. Click on subscript button on font group. Now, let's make text superscript. Follow these steps. Select the text that you want to format as superscript. Click on superscript button on font group. Change case. This option is used to change the case of a text. To change all the selected text to uppercase, lowercase, sentence case, capitalize each word and toggle case. We can press shift plus F3 shortcut key for the change case. Let's see the works of change case with examples as given below. Grow font or string font. Grow font option is used to increase the size of the selected text and string font option is used to decrease the size of the selected text. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus greater than is the shortcut key of grow font option. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus lesser than is the shortcut key of string font option. Clear formatting. It is used to clear all formatting from your text such as bold, underline, italics, color, superscript, font size and more. Here we are ready to clear formatting. Let us do the following steps. We are selecting now the text that you want to clear the formatting. Click on Clear Formatting button on the font group in the Home tab. Press the Ctrl plus Shift plus N key as a shortcut key for clear formatting. Now, all the applied formats will be removed from the text and returned to its default formatting style. Multi-level list It helps you to add bullets or numbers for sub-items in a list. It takes numbering, bullets or other symbols to the next step. To get this option, follow these steps. Click multi-level list on the paragraph group. Now you can type your list. Then press the tab key to change cursor to the sub-levels. Press the shift plus tab key to return cursor. Indent. This option is used to arrange the spacing to increase or decrease indent of the paragraphs from the margin. Let's understand how indent works with the following example. Sort. This option is used to arrange text in ascending or descending order. This feature will be particularly helpful for sorting bibliographies, glossary entries, list of names, etc. If you want to sort the selected text, then click Sort button on the Paragraph group in Home tab. Select an option from Sort by field. Then select Ascending or Descending order from the options. Click OK button. Now your text will be sorted. Drop cap. This option is used to create a large dropped initial capital letter on the beginning of a paragraph. To create a drop cap letter, follow these steps. Click at the beginning of the paragraph that you want to begin with the drop cap letter. Click on drop cap option on the text group in the insert tab. Now, the drop cap option will be applied in the beginning of the paragraph as shown given below. Column formatting. It is used to split a text into two or more columns. Normally, it is used in magazines and newspapers to align text. Follow these steps for applying column format 
in the text. Select the text that you want to format in columns. Click on Columns button on Page Setup group in the page layout. Choose the number of columns that you want from the list. Now, the selected text will get divided into the specified number of columns. Text box. This option is used to insert pre-formatted text boxes in a document. You can position the text box anywhere in the document. To insert a text box, follow these steps. Click on text box drop down arrow on text group in insert tab. Select a text box option from the drop down list. Please watch the figure. Now a text box will be inserted here. You can type a text and can drag it anywhere in the document. Header and footer. Headers and footers are areas in the top, bottom and side margins of each page in the document. You can insert or change text or graphics in headers and footers. For example, you can add page numbers, time and date, a company logo, document title or a file name or the author's name. If you want to change a header or footer that you have inserted, the headers and footers tab under header and footer tools will give you more header and footer options. Page number. You can add page numbers associated with headers and footers to the top, at the bottom or at the margins of a document. Information that is stored in headers and footers or margins appear as dimmed and it cannot be changed at the same time as the information in the body of the document. To change the header or footer or the information in the page margins, do the following. Double click the header or footer and then click the headers and footers tab under header and footer tools. Select a page number option from the drop down list. Now, page number will be inserted to all pages in the document. Spelling and Grammar This option helps us to check the spelling and grammar of a text. MS Word automatically checks spelling and grammar as you type. It displays a red underline for a text to indicate spelling errors and a green underline to indicate grammatical errors. Select Spelling and Grammar option of the Proofing group in Review tab. Then Spelling and Grammar dialog box appears indicating the wrong spelling highlighted in red color and with a list of correct spelling suggestions. Then choose the correct word from the list and click on the change button.